Y'all yeah, know the vibes, it's your boy Loaf Life Manny, and I'm here tuned in, you know, out of sight with a mind, you know, back at it again. Guess what? Yesterday, surprisingly, good civilized conversation with the brothers from the first generation. I'm actually honored and proud to be a part of what happened yesterday, because um, whether they want to say it or not, I pretty much believe that Pimp and Shaquel had stuff they differences and got an understanding of where each person stand. I think Mikey B and 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 um Pimp had stuff they differences and they got a clear understanding of where they stand in each other's lives, which is a good thing because through all of the bullshit, through all of the chaos, um solutions gotta be met. And um that's what grown men do. So um shout out to CK. And um, for making it possible as a as a boss, as a gorilla father, as a triple OG should, you know what I mean? He gave a a, a show that aligned the brothers and and, and brought upliftment and, and and brought um unity. And I commend him for that because um it's very much needed in this day and time. Um, what I like to speak and touch on is the topic that sits at hand is. Back on OG rap, man. Like, um, I want to buy the stories that I heard, which nobody got a lot of me. So, not to disrespect nobody that was on a panel yesterday, but I just don't believe that's everybody's story. You understand what I'm saying? We can use that lightly as an excuse and a justification that, um, the paperwork wasn't present, so nobody wanted to move. But, um, Several investigation needed to be applied. I feel I feel like um at that point in time, brothers that was a part of the movement. Well, first I, I really don't even know what the mind state of individuals was and they positioning as being in authority. Cause I never understood how one man gained so much power over so many people to the point I seen Gandhi do it, Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, cool, of course. Now, you know, Elijah Muhammad. And that's another thing to touch on. Why is New York so tainted? Why is New York the only place in the world? I ain't going to say in the world. I'm going to say in the USA that doesn't follow no rules. We do what we want. Shout out to New York, man. We really do what we want. And I see that every movement that came over here, you can see in history, it was tainted. The Latin Kings came over here without permission. Louis Felipe didn't have permission to start them from over here. I talked to King Tito, that was Chicago Manifesto, was part of the uh, 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 Chicago Latin King chapter. Um, when I was up north, this was one of the brothers that put on out here and got a lot of time. And he caused a, a lot of mischief up north with these New York Latin Kings. Uh, King Tito, shout out to you from Chicago and shit. Um, definitely, the Crip shit wasn't sanctioned when it first came out here. They did what they wanted. Those who founded it, Crown, Tiptoe, um, uh, I mean, uh, Tip Top, um, Biz, Psych, by whoever it is. You know, I don't know all of you, but I was with some of you. But at the end of the day, whoever founded the Crips on the East Coast, they did it without permission. That's why back in the days they was claiming this sick shit. And, you know, the dime moves over here definitely was without permission because there ain't no five and ain't no six in blood or Crip history. You know what I mean? That's created here on the East Coast. And, yeah, even though it was without permission and we founded it, guess what? Influence is a motherfucking Y'all know nobody do it better than New York So you got bloods all over the south Midwest and everywhere Representing that five And that was created from the New York chapter Not from the west coast So um, where we may vary And where things is different Ideology wise perspective The influence was greater From the east Not from the west Now um, back to yeah, the nation of gods and earths, you know, uh, 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 Malcolm X, um, 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 the person, um, uh, uh, um, that founded the nation of gods and earth was a student of Malcolm X 
And basically, the Malcolm X storyline, you know how that go with, with him and the NOY, with Elijah Muhammad, how they fell out. And Elijah Muhammad uh, creating a lie within the nation itself of the black Muslims. You feel me? He, he flipped the whole Islamic culture. You feel me? So everything that came from the East Coast that was created for black militancy or either a movement, it was really created on by Allah, <laughs> basically. And we see the results of every movement that was created by Allah. The na uh, you know, Nation of Islam still is relevant and still strong for many reasons, you know, dealing with the black community and dealing with the, the avenue that they take that they took on a religious level, which gave them the back and sustain and live and, and grow stronger and stronger throughout the years through the backing of Islam, the community of Islam. But it was tainted as well. It was tainted. Elijah Muhammad lied to the people. He lied to Malcolm X. He lied to everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, creating that whole ideology of, of the white man being the devil and fucking... Uh, what's his, what's the dude name that he said the the one that created the melanin in his skin? Um, um, um. It'll come to my mind. You feel me? But uh, yeah. Basically, we know we know the lies that 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 plagued us, and no nation can live or survive off of lies. Which is the topic of discussion today, is about um, healing and bringing truth, truth allows us to build truth allows you to construct a better foundation and structure to allow the people to have trust to give their loyalty and commitment you understand what i'm saying so this is the things that facts and truth bring you feel me you can't build something off of a lie and think that it's going to be constructive and think that it's going to last you know what i mean and especially a lie mixed with ratting this is the reason why i despise mac so much because he didn't just lie but he also ratted you know in the 48 laws of power robert green great gave a valid point he said um um create a cut like following humans are creatures a habit with the insatiable need to see familiarities in other people's actions by creating a cut like following you give them a a faith to believe in Something to believe in. So that storyline, yeah, I get it. Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad allowed us to believe from, well, from our circumstances and our conditions as being blacks, from after slavery, being backwards, being broken, being mistreated, being, you know, put in a situation where we don't know who we are as a people anymore because our history was taken from them our language was taken from us everything that identified us with being great kings and queens was stolen from us was destroyed and then slavery being whipped and beaten and tortured and you know and made us a weak people so i understood that he was given certain knowledge and Jews and he wanted to heal our people and bring us together. So he said the white man was the devil because of the actions that they committed. The, the negative white people, the actions that they committed towards us during race, racism, during the slavery era was a depiction of 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 hate, of envy, of wickedness. So, of course, they're going to say that the white man is the devil, but blacks is devils. Asians is devils, is devils in every culture, in every nation. You understand what I'm saying? It just so happened that the time and ever suited and, 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 and called on us, on Elijah Muhammad, to create that, that lie. The same way that time and ever was created for Mac to create that lie because of the oppression of the Latin kings and the Yetas on the island. This is what I commend him on. I commend him on the fact that, yeah, he seen something going on. The people was being oppressed. And he said, all right, I know this right here and I'm going to go with this. But where he fucked up at was he could have did all of that without saying he was from the West Coast. He could have did all of that shit with about lying, saying he was blood. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just don't get that part. I don't get the part where a motherfucker think like, yo, if we talk of some gang shit, we ain't talk about a religion. 
We talking some gang shit here. You know what I'm saying? And then to be a rat on top of that, he just felt extra safe. He felt extra untouchable. And niggas allowed him to feel that away. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of like, it just, it just don't sit right with me that everybody is stating they didn't know. And uh, all right, if you're from Brooklyn, if you're from Queens, if you're from Harlem, if you're from Long Island, if you're from Staten Island, yeah, yeah. I can see you not knowing because you're not from the Bronx. But if you was from 183rd, if you was from the Bronx, it's impossible. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. And that's just my belief. I'm going to die with that. But what I am happy about is that you brothers like CK, Shaquille, uh, Wildcat, Deadeye, I'm glad that you are the brothers that really was ready to really take that stance against it. You understand what I'm saying? Because that shows a lot, man, in character and, 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 and the ones that really stood behind that dude and, you know, and still today I, I hear dudes still bigging him up still. And, I, and that was the thing that I didn't get to ask you, Shockwell, because my, um, my, um, my shit had, you know, I was going through little female issues and shit, you know, and then, um, my battery died a, a, afterwards. So I didn't even get to properly, um, dismiss myself. So I apologize to y'all for that. But for the most part, I was puzzled about something, Shaquel, that I got to ask you. And I'm going to ask you also off the scene, but I'm going to ask you through here first. What made you contact Mac again years later after finding out that he was a rat and all of that? Because you said that you wrote him and he responded to you and said, yeah, I got your kite, but I ain't um like how you address me on the second kite calling me a cheese eater and all of that. Like, I just want to know what purpose was you seeking and contacting him after finding out he was a rat and after finding out the lies that he told and all of that. Like, did you want to just get information from him? Like, or was you still looking for him to, to like bless you with a position to, uh, to be greater than everybody else. I'll, you know, cause basically I, I fit with Mikey B, you know what I mean? I'm more on the Mikey B time when it comes to dealing with homos, rats, rapos and shit like that. Like if your name is associated with any of that, I don't want to fuck with you. I don't want to deal with you on no type of level. And I, de I kind of despise you. So at the end of the day, this is why I spent so much time on this shit with Matt. Cause he fucked many people lives up. And even though we have the ultimate, the last decision on what to do with our lives and fluids is everything. And, um, loyalty means a lot to some people. So my passion could be greater than the next man's passion and whatever. I'm very competitive and whatever I do, I put my all into. And for my brothers, I sacrifice my life. I've been like that since a kid because I didn't have no older brothers. So all my younger siblings, I sacrificed my life for. I went out there and I hustled to help out my moms. I went out there and bought clothes for my little brother so he could be flying school. Everything that I didn't have in school, I made sure my little brother had in school. From change, jewelry, clothes, whatever it was, I made sure my younger brother had it because me and my sister had a different type of struggle. You feel me? So when I see this right here, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand because at 13 years old, I made the decision to be a grown man in my household. I made a decision to go out there and help my mom sell drugs, be fly, help my kid, help my little brother. I made that decision at 13 years old. And I'm trying to understand as grown men, 25, because Shaquille said he was 25 when he turned blood or whatever. But a lot of these dudes, 28, 22, bad vibes said he was as a grown man in your 20s. How the fuck? I just don't, how do you give so much of your authority and power to another man to have dictation over your life to the point where brothers couldn't come together and say, yo, hold up, this nigga got this shit on his name. So that's a question. So we going to sit here and we're going to, you feel me, figure out this right here until this shit come out to be right or wrong. 
But we need other people to to figure out how this movement is going to move forward. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I say that because if you allow one person to be in power, that's a dictatorship. And with dictatorships, many people are suffering in that state of condition. Many people are uneasy, unrest. We're going to look at the dictators, Mussolini, Hitler, Napoleon Bonaparte, um, uh, 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 what's the brother name from Idi Amin, um, you know, everybody that we can name, um, um, Saddam Hussein, um, anybody we can name that, that was dictators, man, they fucking commute, they cult, they, they whole nation pretty much despised them. Except for the ones that was on their team. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you know, not to get all political and shit, but I, I don't I don't like dictators. You know what I mean? I I, I I like individuals who could coexist with other individuals who are just as great mentally or or greater. And we want to share the wealth. We want to share the loyalty. We want to share the love. That's what I've always been in my life. A person to give. A person to, to see the bigger picture and try to paint it and, and put it together to where we all could be good. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't see everybody being good when one person has only a vision that can, you feel me, fuck the world up. And fuck other people's lives up. Because this is what happened with Mac. He fucked mad people's lives up because everybody was blinded by loyalty. It's called blind loyalty. And that's the most valuable thing for any Damu to learn over here. Do not be blinded by your G's bullshit. Learn your history. Learn your rules. Learn what you need to know. And I'm not talking about just no oath from some man and just some codes. Learn your rules, learn your regulations, learn what is supposed to be, learn who you are supposed to be under the culture. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's not negative. And once you learn that shit, you will change the direction in what you live and you will be more for the uplifting and betterment of your people and not for set tripping and bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? I'm one of them individuals that feel like if you don't got knowledge, if you don't know your shit, you shouldn't have a position, period. I don't give a fuck what you bring to the table. People that bring money is just finances. That's it. You ain't no gangster. You definitely ain't structured. You definitely ain't you definitely ain't in a position to move the crowd as an organized leader because you too busy with your with your grind with what you gotta do unless you already situated. If you're already situated, then that's a whole nother thing. Then you got avenues to move this and that and that and the third. But let the individuals who passion is for the movement and passion is for uh, uh, bringing a greater direction for the people. Let them people be the ones that that move the crowd, man, and let you niggas get money. Just get money and help support the movement because that's how it's supposed to go. You feel me? And the individuals that think that they they just get free rides and there's no motherfucking um effort needed or, or applied, you, yeah, niggas got to kick them niggas to the curb. Facts. It's too many people out here homeless. It's too many people out here with kids. It's too many people out here that need that 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 don't got food. You know what I mean? They don't got clothing, and they and, and they affiliated with y'all coaches, Bloods, Crips, folks, whatever they are. They out here. You feel what I'm saying? Kids need direction. Kids need clothing. Kids need books. Kids need food. You feel me? Y'all got to get out here and get active in your communities. Because that's what this shit's supposed to be about, man. This shit ain't supposed to be about no excess negative shit. Niggas out here killing and destroying. This shit's supposed to be about uplifting and bettering your communities. You feel me? Something that OG Mac didn't do. You don't want to follow in his light. You don't want to follow in his footsteps because you see where it led him. So you want to change the direction. You want to go the opposite route. 
You feel what I'm saying? And even though a majority of us went to prison, we went to prison young, and some of us continued to go to prison because we didn't learn our lessons. Me, myself, I'm a prime example and a victim of that, not learning my lesson at an earlier age and being in too deep and figuring, oh, I could do it this way, a different way. I could do the same thing a different way. Oh, I, I sold drugs this way this time. That's the why I went there. All right, I'm going to try this way. I'm going to try this way. I'm going to try that way. Not recognizing that thousands of people done tried every avenue that I could think about trying and didn't succeed. This is why it's only like 1.5% who actually make it out of the game. So me understanding these facts and me looking at my lifestyle and saying, yo, damn, you know what I mean? I'm feeling trying to live illegal or trying to be a drug dealer or trying to be a, a, a somebody that is, is now productive in my community and society. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to learn from those past lessons. I'm going to team up with some of the brothers that I see got like mind consciousness that want to do different things with their life. And this is what you see happening and unfolding before y'all. You feel me? Hopefully we can get a reality show out of this shit. You know what I mean? Because we deserve it. We a bunch of brothers who all sacrificed our life. No matter what you've seen on, this me on, on media, if you paid attention well, you will learn that we all suffer from what? mental imprisonment and alienation from society we've been incarcerated for so long our minds has been constructed around structure around prison and around the politics in which we was forced to pardon me what i'm gonna do is this right because my shit just went out in the car, so at the end of the day, this is Loaf Life Manny. I'm going to continue on with this um topic of discussion, and what we're going to do is figure it out on a different type of time, because check this out, man. All of our brothers are people's a struggle, and we here to, and designed to do different and create a new path and to help out the youth and redirect. So with that being said, I'm going to close this segment with um, chin up, chest out, back straight, eyes direct, stand firm, speak with authority, and man up and woman up. And at no time should you put all your faith into a man. You put your faith into God and everybody else, they got to earn your shit. And when they get questions like anything, if you got to question a person, then guess what? It's time to step back. It's time to regroup. And it's time to figure out really what their purpose is. Because you could be hoodwinked. You could be bamboozled. You could be 48 it. You feel me? You could be tricked as possible. And then everybody else would be left looking like a fool. You feel me? So... What we're going to do is end this segment right now. And there's more power to the people. It's more uplifting that got to be done. And there's more structure. Yeah, y'all see the hat? I bought this hat to say self-made. But y'all know the vibes with me. It's prime time. You heard? Loaf life. That type of shit. Sturdy up.